Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another review for Anime Month. Now, I'm getting to the review of only the, the first season of this because I never watched I never watched the seasons afterwards after this, so I'm only familiar with the first season, so. But I, I, did, I grew up uh, watching a few episodes of the show, but, I mean, we compare it to this show to the other one, uh, well, Pokemon. I've watched more Pokemon growing up more than this. And if but if I if and, I, and I'm not oh and I do apologize if I'm that I'm not very well inversed into this like I have like full knowledge like of this show like I do a Pokemon because Pokemon I watch pretty much all my life and I have more well inversed in the in that than this though but if I it was if I did watch more of the show back then growing up though I probably would be more well known of the characters and uh, the names and all that stuff so. But uh, sadly, I'm not. Though, but if I get to some things wrong, I do apologize for that. But that is of Digimon. Now, listen. I now I like the show though. I, I like the first well the first season because I hadn't, I've I never watched the other seasons after this after this. Uh, so, but uh, Digimon. Like I said, like I said, people compare it to this as Pokemon as a Pokemon ripoff, which I do. I do see. I mean, when it came out in America, um, even though it was like a um, success in the United States, though, but like some say that it was a Pokemon ripoff. Like this one's here, Entertainment Weekly magazine named Digimon as the worst Pokemon net crossbreeding attempt in 2000. Even many American viewers quick to dismiss Digimon as a Pokemon ripoff meant to cash in on this show's success. And audiences uh, uh, eventually noticed that compared to Pokemon, the characters interacted in development realistically as well as interaction and integration of more complicated science fiction stories and social themes. But um well yeah, those are there's there are some good there is character there is character moments in the show which I will, I do say I would give I give that to so but I can see why it's been a clear it's a, a Pokemon ripoff. You I mean Mon, Pokemon, Digimon we all, we all know it's, it's like kind of like a Pokemon ripoff, though. But, um... But Digimon... When first it came out, it well, aired in... What was what was the air date? And, um... What was it, what, I want to know when it aired... Well, in, it aired in Japan in 1999. But, um... I just want to know when it aired in America. On Fox Kids Network, on... Like in Japan, it aired in March 1999. I guess it, uh, on Fox Kids Network, which I do remember back then. Fox Kids Network <laughs> aired uh, August 14, 1999. Yeah. So basically, yeah, late is like 1999, and then it ran from also to, to 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 2000. So, but Digimon, yeah, if if I if I because because uh, the shows like the for, as for anime shows, I grew up w watching more. Was mainly Pokemon, Sailor Moon, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Afterwards, so I didn't get to watch too much of this. I only watched only a few episodes, so of the, back then. But if I watched, if I back then, if I watched the show, if, if I watched the show more back then, I would probably be well more in knowledge of the of the show. So sadly, I'm not. Because I, I guess Pokemon, I I know like pretty much most of the Pokemon show. Inside and out, basically, for the most part, not the newer stuff. Not I, I like the Sun and Moon or the Sword and Shield. Um, I'll probably still say probably um less knowledge on the X Y series though, but I'm I'm more knowledge on from the Indigo League, Orange Islands, Johto, Hoenn, uh, uh, the Sinnoh League, and you'll probably say mo uh. Most of the black and white series, um, the um, Unova region, I'd probably even say, up until then. So, but Digimon, I still like I still like the first season, which was called Digimon Adventure. And the so like says some there's some uh, this has some moments it has a lot of moments in the show like especially with character developments you get like arcs you know character arcs story arcs as well. Um, even moments that it gets a little, you have a little bit of drama moments in there as well. 
for a kids show. <laughs> um, as for villains wise, there is, you get so you get a few villains in this show. So, but which I'll get more into. But the story is okay. You fall of the you have these. Yeah, seven kids. They're out there like their summer camp. You have introduced our lead our lead guy, our lead kid Ty, and other other ones. You uh, as for the other kids, you got um, Matt, Sora, uh, Izzy, Mimi, Joe, TK, and later and later uh, um, Kari. I thought it was the name Kyrie. Or Carrie or Kyrie, but um, but uh, t but uh, even back then, growing up, probably the character, some of the characters I remember the most was uh, Ty and even Mimi, because how the way her, her character was, her design was, especially with a pink cowboy hat. I probably remember Mimi the most, <laughs> but I also remember Ty the most as well. So, but um. But those are your, those are your, those are your lead kids, and they're at their summer camp, and all of a sudden it starts snowing. They receive these little what they're called digivices, and get they get transferred into the digital world. The digi world is it called, digi world. And that's when they meet, and that's where they meet their, basically their 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 partners of the show, which they're called you know no Digimon digital monsters. And that's one thing I, even though I did not grow up, I I, I didn't watch the show too much as a kid but the theme over the years i still i still remember i still remember very well though because to me that's pretty much the, one of the best parts of the show is the theme digimon digital monsters digimon are the champions digimon digital monsters digimon are the champions that theme still sticks with me to this day even back then Oh, by the way, I forgot this. Uh, this uh, DVD comes with a little guidebook with our characters and the Digimon, and also in their evolution stages. So, just uh, keep in mind in here. But yeah, but the Digimon, yeah. So they get they get transferred to the Digimon world. They meet their Digimon partners. Um, like I said, I, I do not. I hardly remember these names. Well, that's why there's a guidebook here. Thank goodness. But we, but I know, I know the one that gets teeped uh, with with Ty. Um, well, in the little stage, it's called Kuramon, and then it gets moved to um, Agumon, which is the one I know most well known to. And then later, when it's what they call Digivolve, into one the most of uh, well, also known one is Greymon. But I'll get more into those later, so I don't want to go through this list of everything of their Digimon though. But for the main for the main ones, like I said, Agumon with Ty, Matt is um, Matt uh, Gabumon, uh, Sora uh, Biomon, Izzy Tentamon with me with Mimi Pal Palmon. With Joe, uh, go, uh, go, uh, Gomamon, and then with with, with TK Patamon, and then later with uh, Ka uh was it Karai or Kari? I think it's Karai. I want to say Karai. And then later in the show, Gadumon. So, which he with the, which he was the guy, uh, with Karai is like uh, is TK. Um, uh, not TK. Ty's little sister, and TK is Matt's little brother. And they're trying to for when they get there the the for a, good, for a good portion of the series is exploring the world of Digimon and how they should how where the, how they get back to their own world that's basically what it is and then only they come across um the well your your first villain of the good part is one called Divamon it was Divamon Diamon like I said some of these uh characters these names are. Um. Yeah, De uh, uh, Devimon, Devimon. He's like the first. He's like the first villain of the show. And a lot of times there there are some good Digimon out there, like this bit of stronger ones, but they're uh, get cor they're corrupted by what they're called the Black Gears, 
like the good Digi like good Digimon are being controlled by those black gears makes them be very violent aggressive and when uh, and then a lot of times when their uh, Digimon when the characters um, are desperate to help their Digimon digivolve to make them become stronger <coughs> Pardon me. To become uh, stronger, like when Agumon becomes Greymon, basically. In each one episode shows, in each one, uh, some of the episodes show them the um. <coughs> God dang. Just want me to talk about the show because I'm too majorly. Blah, blah, blah. Like that's what I mean. That's why I'm not fully diverse in this Digimon because it's explaining all the names and all their did their Digivolve names, and that's the thing. It's just like it's hard to say. All their names at once. But like I said, Agumon to Greymon. Um, in each one, of, in each one of them, shows them become even stronger for each of the each of the characters and their Digimon, like Gabumon into Garumon. or even by when Biomon becomes a uh, Bird Birdmon, etc. Um, and you can see, and you do get some uh, some uh, character moments with the, with um with with each with the their in character interactions with each other, and and you see like Tai Tai is obviously the leader of the group, and and each one has their own little each one has their own uh, strength and carry on in, within this group as well. And one of the least another, like I said, I can't. Since I haven't watched this, I haven't not watched the show that often. I can't remember fully. I've memorized on the all these episodes, unlike the Pokemon shows, especially the earlier shows. I have fully memorized on what I, on what's what are my favorite episodes, etc. Though, right? That's just the different thing with Digimon. Since I didn't watch it fully, I'm not fully memorized on the show. So I guess I do apologize if I'm not. I'm not fully interversed with this show. If I did back then, I probably would know the show front and back. So, uh, it, but you do get an inch one for a good portion that, um, well, for the for the good portion of the episode where except for Patamon with TK, he hasn't fully digivolved yet, and you get get some little things with the Digimon where they go to this place where this one Digimon is looking after um these Digi eggs. You know, if one if a Digimon monster like dies, it it gets reborn as an egg and start up again. So. And then when they get the when at least when they get to their fight with uh, Devimon De or Devimon, when they're all start to lose it until when Patamon transforms into Angemon, defeats it. But um, he when a Devimon dies so, along with Angemon, but he gets reborn as an Digi Egg and will reborn as um, how it was originally. And then one leads to another when uh, they uh, go to the search for a new place called uh, to the server, and well, but now before that they get they, they get told by this old there's this old man named Jet uh, by my, by the name of Jedi. For at first at first I thought it was a, it was na the name Jedi you know, Jedi's, but no it's a different name it's called a uh, Jet with a G Jedi. No D. <laughs> First, I was like Jedi, <laughs> but it was Jedi. He tell he tells them about there's a, there's gonna be another enemy out there, and they have to travel to this place called the server. This is where they also get a new part of um another part of uh acquired to them it was called the crests, and each one of these crests, uh, each one they have is symbol uh it's symbols like um like a was a courage, love, a sincerity, um. Her was a there was like there's courage there's love sin sincerity um, I don't know where the where the crests were I know there yeah but yeah I mean it's a symbol symbols symbolism of those um. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, there's another one. Friendship. 
Yeah, I remember there was another one. Friend, yeah, for love, friendship, cur uh, uh, courage, sin sincerity. Um. Oh, for, I forget the other ones are now. But it's those. It's like those uh, symbolism for like character traits, and that each one of them carry. And then they get, you get another another side villain called Edamon, which I thought was kind of uh, cool for this with this Digimon because Edamon he's like this monkey Digimon, but he has he's an El he's an Elvis Presley impersonator. He, t he talks exactly like in the voice of Elvis. Hey, hey, what's going on? Who's there? You know, <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was kind of a kind of a funny thing that uh, he sounds exactly like he sounds exactly like Elvis Presley. You know, he wears, he wears the glasses, and he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and uh, first, you know, the uh, more character moments, like, you get the little bit of, um, banter between uh, Ty and Matt. So, like, they get they get into little fights. And, or one part, especially with uh, Matt and TK, because you get more backstory that uh, their parents are divorced. And there's and each one has a cust each one has a custody of one child, like so they don't get to see each other. So you get a little bit of drama moments like that, and especially with a part where later says where they come back into the real world. But um, but first after, well uh, that's later though. But each one gets their each one finds does find their own crest, and um, and when they have the when the fight with the uh, Edamon, which. Uh, at least this one part of this other, other Digimon part was, was supposed to be a trap. And less like this, it's, it was like a virus that erases and um, and uh, Greymon and Ty they fight, but they get pulled into um, they get pulled they get they get pulled into uh, Ty and Gray and uh, uh, Agumon. They get pulled, they get transported to their own world, basically. They get transported into their own world, and they they notice the they notice, but there's Digimon in the world, but the, like all the people they don't notice it, and except for uh, Ty's little sister Karai, they, they still think the name. He sees he she's the one who recognizes Agumon, which you later find out that she's the eighth di uh, Digidesin child, and you, you realize that um, all. All of our characters, they were they lived around the same time when they were little. They lived in like in one same area where there was this big fight with a Greymon and this like this uh, a Digimon that's like a parrot. They which they had a fight and then it gets pulled up and it was like that, but they were all there together. Which back then when they hardly when they hardly knew each they hardly knew each other. And you get little moments like um, where they said it was a terrorist attack, which I'm like. Well, I'm surprised they use they use that word in the show. No, granted, this the show the show ran before the 9/11 attack. So, if, it, if, it, if that if that part was mentioned afterwards, I'm sure that uh, like they would took they would took that name out of that word out of the show and don't use that word. If you get what I mean, I was surprised. Oh wow, they, they said the word terrorist attack in a kids show. But like I said, this is, this came out like after 9/11. They would have pulled that word out of there. I guarantee that. Like they they you make some references like adult things like that in the show, which they mentioned 666, and um, which that was later in when they were in the in the real in, back in the real world. Um, even like a moment where like with uh, Matt and TK's father, you, you see him smoking and. So you get a little like adult stuff like that in in the show, which is like okay, you see a person smoking like that in the show. <laughs> okay, and they mentioned the using the word ter terrorist. They use the word terrorist in the show, so you get some like, some adult things in this as well, which I kind of give credit to for a kid show. And and what well, is another one? Um. At when Ty and uh, Agumon they do go back to the they do go back into the, to the Digi world, but like, by the time when it gets back, the crew the the group is split up, so they have to reunite with each other again. And then you get a little more a little more with um with Matt and TK like he Matt, like with Matt he's kind of like the overprotective brother he wants to look out for his little brother, but you know TK he wants really he wants to do things on his own, which that kind of hurts Matt and. 
And it also leads to, to like another fight with uh, with a uh, with Ty. And, like you see them hitting each other, like, you see them like hitting each other, or at one point where he wants to him and his Digim their Digimon's like fight each other. So, and then, and then we, and while all this is going on, you get the other villain. What was it called? Um, is that uh? Um, my 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 Otis my my Otis Mon my he's your secondary villain the, the my Otis Mon he's like the vampire he's a he's basically he's like a he's a Digimon who's like a vampire basically and honestly I think he's the best he's the best villain of the show and De I mean Devimon he's I mean he's there he's there though but I think other uh, and then you get the other ones like the four Dark Masters after my Otis Mon. I think overall, I think my Otis Mon is the best villain of this first season. I would say, probably because he, because he, his plan was he wants to go into the real world and probably wants to take over the world. Probably because with his with his uh, army, probably that was more. It was more like that basically. And plus, you know, when he, by the time he does get to the world, they spread like fear and chaos, the ca uh, chaos all over the city to the point where they get all the all the, all the parents. And all the parents and the children, because they want to, because he wants to look for the who's the missing eighth Digi Destined child. And he even has like her little uh, some henchmen like um, there's this one bad I forget the name, and you have like and you have Gatumon who is will become like the partner to uh, Karai. Yeah, K uh, Gatumon. Which you get, she also gets a back, she also gets a backstory as well. She gets a backstory on how when she would when she first met Miles Man was to be on the team, but um, but treated badly though. But she wants to prove that she's a villain, but she's not because she has a friend named Wizardmon, who is basically a good guy. Actually, the English voice of uh, Wizardmon is actually um, um, oh, what was the guy's name? Which uh, Robert Al Al Axelrod, Robert Axelrod, who voices Lord Zed from Power Rangers. And in which he had also a little appearance in Chuck Russell's The Blob as one of the scientists with Mr. Jennings was talking to um, Meadows. You know, the guy, he's, the, organism is, the organism is growing at a geometric rate. By all accounts, it's at least a thousand times its original mass. Yeah, that's uh, Robert Axelrod, the voice of, Lo of Lord Zed from Power Rangers. He has an English voice uh, in this as Wizardmon. So the guy, and the guy passed away like a couple years ago. Sad, sad to hear that. You know, rest in peace to him. Because I like when he voiced Lord Zed. Um, and like in the, like in the like in the real world, like um, uh, like all the parents are like put into like a coma, or like I guess like into like a coma, I guess, and the children separated as well. And even a little, uh, part where you know, I think the one who helps out like is Matt's father as well. I think he kind of helps out even uh, of the other parents too. And then to, uh, my Otis Mon, you know, cool. Um, well, until one point where Gatamon transforms into, uh, Angel Woman, Angel Woman, and, uh, Sora takes him out with her arrow, but then he transforms into a much bigger monster, which leads to, like, the, like, to, um, uh, Agumon to evolve into Greymon into, until it's, other new stage called uh, Metal Metal Greymon, and eventually they all and they win. And because also the other thing that is with them, um, it is kind of a thing where all the time they have to see. Um, I would say, I mean, we get it one time, but I think seeing it every pretty much every single episode where it's the same sequence where you see their Digimon you digivolve. Every single time, the same sequence. I think that was kind of a, a little bit of a, a annoying thing. It's like, okay, we know what, how they're gonna transform. And do it. Uh, one time, it's like, okay, did you evolve into this? And we just see it every. Do it to see it every single episode. I mean, that kind of those. This is like a couple of nitpicks I have with the show. And it's like seeing the same thing when they did evolve over and over again. I know it's the th probably the thing is when they want to did evolve, but I think it's just um, I think just. Seeing it one at a time, which one, how, how they become these, I think it's one time enough. And the CGI, um, there, you get a little bit of three, 
sort of three dimensional shots, especially with Greymon and Gagumon when they evo when they mega evolve. The CGI is not uh, even back then from from 1999 or 2000 slash 2000. It's not um, doesn't hold up that well. <laughs> you know, like especially when they mega evolve, they use some three dimensional CGI, which that's made that is, that does not hold up nowadays to me. Um. And then eventually, when uh, Karai joins the group, and they all have to say goodbye to their parents to return to the g digital world, because, because um, well, since they're gone, things have happened. So you get a moment, a moment where um, they trend, they say goodbye to their parents, especially whether you get the thing with uh, Matt and TK's parents, because since they're divorced, they hardly ever see each other. They get the one time, uh, they see they're together now as the family, though. But and they, at the sense that they have to say goodbye to them as they go back to the digital digital world. And when they put down, they go back to the digital world. Things have happened, and they get your last, um, the last uh, villains of the show, and that is like the four dark masters. You have like, um, uh, let's see where, yeah, the dark masters. You have Metal Seedramon, Puppetmon, Machine Dramon, and then you got Piedamon. Like, um, there were there was there was like Metal Seedramon is is a is a Seedramon but of a giant cyborg type one, and then he have Puppamon, who's basically a puppet, basically like a, a Digimon version of Pinocchio the way he looks. He looks like a Pinocchio version of it. And then he got Machidramon, who's like a a metal is who's basically a machine Digimon. And then he got Pidamon, who's a a clown basically. So they're they're the they're the last villains, and and they they're slowly taking out like so all Digimon like the Digimon's friends like the one there was one that was a friend a Digimon friend to them that was called Way Waymon it's basically a whale Digimon that gets taken out and even uh, Leomon which um they met earlier in the show he's basically a you know a muscular uh, lion which even Edamon comes back. But much grayer and muscular, and he takes him out, and he gets destroyed as well. And there is Ogremon, who him and uh, Leomon fight each other, but since there's no one else, he's no one else left for him to fight. He joins on the on the mission to stop him as well. And then each one they start defeating the Dark Masters up to the last one, and which they do, and then Gen and Gen I, uh, then Gen I uh, tells them, you know, it's time for them to go back home on this. Uh, Troll on this trolley that was left there. Early, we saw earlier in the beginning of the show. They say goodbye to each other, and eventually, like you know, if they ever see, will they ever see them again? Which they wish, which they will. You do see them again in the next season, though. So, but yeah, Digimon. It's a show. Like I said, I like the show though. I just um, if I if I grew up watching the show more back then I probably will enjoy the show more like I did well then I did I guess say but since I didn't I because I watched Pokemon more because I love I do I still do prefer Pokemon more than Digimon I know my my brother's my brother's friend he enjoys Digimon a lot so but. If I if I grew up watching the show more back then, I would have loved it much as than I did now. But since I didn't, I only watched only a few episodes. I don't I don't love the sh I don't I don't love the show. I don't. But I still like I st at the same time I I do I still do like the show. But Pokemon I enjoy much more. If you want to go, if you want to make comparisons, yes, I would easily put Pokemon over Digimon. I'm sure people. I, I know there's a lot of people that still like Digimon. I still I, I know that. I know a lot of people still like Digimon, and I know that they're 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 doing a new a rebooted series. I just I just I just recently uh, learned that they just they just did a re a reboot of the show, of the same name Digimon Adventure, and which is of course the animation has improved more because it's 2020 and this is back in 1999, so. Um, I'm probably sure there's there. It's probably that the premise is still the same, but I guess there's there's gonna be there's slight little different changes. I I assume. So I'll have to wait for it, cause I'll wait for it to come out and see if what if there's difference. So, he's usually, 
I know there's one like with you know I remember of course with Sailor Moon Crystal. It's basically it's a reboot of the original show, which is better animation and the dub voice is better. Or, well, people say it's better, but it's like that though. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't done a reboot of Pokemon of the original Pokemon show. But I'm sure probably people will be pissed off at that because no, the original show is still better. Because Pokemon is still popular, so. Oh, hey, oh, I shouldn't say that because they did it like a, well, a terrible 3D version of Pokemon the first movie, which I saw the trailer for that, and that looked looked like shit. Yeah, I saw the trailer for the th for like the 3D remake version of Pokemon the first movie, and that looked like shit. I'm sorry, that 3D animation was awful. So yeah. If, it, if that was awful, I might as well try to do a reboot of the original Pokemon show. That's not going to fly to me. It won't. I'm sure I'll probably will piss off a lot of fans of Pokemon, like me. But getting, back, getting off topic, though. But saying about re, a, a reboot of Digimon, I'll probably wait on it for like later down the road to see if, if, if it's any better. I don't know. I, just still, but I still think I enjoy the show. I still enjoy the show. Still. I still like our. I still like the characters, the like, Otai, you know, Matt, Mimi, especially I like Mimi, because uh, growing up she's the character that stood out the most for me. How the way, because you recognize it most probably most of the characters I will recognize. I recognize her because the way she's dressed. She's more because she's like the a cowgirl type, the way she the way she's dressed. <laughs> she's the one that stands out for me the most. But yeah, Digimon. I mean, you get, you get, you get, you, get, you uh, once again, you do get character arcs for each, for each of them, especially in also the Digimon, you get their character arcs, and you get some backstories, and you get some drama stuff, like, especially with the moments with TK and Matt, let alone with his parents' backstory, or even back when they were in the real world, like, with Izzy, who was more of the computer experts, you know, he, he, he's one of the ones to learn more about the digital world with his computer, you find like when he's back in the real world, they found that he was adopted. When he found it, when he found out that he was adopted by his parents, but so they say, you know, even though he was adopted, they're still considering him his son, their son basically still. So you get a little drama stuff like that, which is appreciated. Even some of the some of the uh, even some of the adult stuff they, they add in there, like the word terrorist. Oh, they thought that this was a, they thought this was a terrorist attack. Or even they mentioned the number of the beast six six six. Yeah, so some of the stuff like that. <clears throat> so I, 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 I give credit to those. Now, like I said, the the I never I never watched the season I never watched the other seasons afterwards. So if I watch season two, it's all new to me. Because I never because back then I never knew there were there were seasons afterwards. Because the season the second season premiered in what in two thousand two. That's hence they call it O2. That was supposed to be resembled for 2002. So I never knew there. I never knew there were seasons afterwards after the first season. So if I watched any of those seasons, it's totally new to me. I know nothing about those shows. So I'm going. So if I watch the shows, I'm going in blind, and it'll be all totally new to me. God, that's such. I got a lot of catching up to do for those because I don't know nothing about those shows. Except the only the season season one is the only one that I remember. But yeah, but Digimon, I still like the show. Like I said, I got the I got the, I showed you I got the pops of Ty, Matt, Gabumon, and Agumon. I went to curious to see why they did, why they haven't made the pops for the rest of the characters and their Digimon. If they're making pops for like started making pops for all the Pokemon, which I'm surprised they didn't make pops of Ash, Misty, and Brock or Team Rocket basically. I'm surprised that when they go making the more pops of the other Digimon, human and other ones characters so yeah digimon i still like the show but uh, i still prefer watching pokemon over but if i back then if i if i watched digimon more back then growing up i probably would have loved the show loved the show and more be more knowledge inverse more but sadly i'm not so at least i'm not the i'm not an expert on digimon if i if i watched it more back then growing up i would probably would be but i'm not now I'm more on the expert on Pokemon, basically, <laughs> and I, I understand why you say this is a say. It's a, people say it's a Pokemon ripoff. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame them. 
But yeah, but I think it's I think it's good on its own merits. If it's a rip off, I say it's a good rip off. Cause hey, when you say like watching like Jaws rip offs like Grizzly, that's a good Jaws rip off. I like Grizzly. If it ripped off a of Jaws, hey, it's a good rip off. And here I may, if and they say if it's ripped off a of Pokemon, I say it's, it's I say it's a good Pokemon rip off. I know there's many people who are fans of the show. I know that. So yeah, so if I didn't get fully details into like what are my what are my favorite episodes, it's hard to say because like I said, I'm not fully memorized on these episodes. So, but I thought it was pretty good when they um I thought the show was getting good when they when the chaos was happening in the real world. I thought it was pretty good on those. And like I said, drama moments as well. But yeah, so that's my that's my review on the first season of Digimon Adventure. That's what's called Digimon Adventure, but I just call it I just call it season one Digimon season Digimon season one because that's what it is right now. Because, but I'll say I'll go for the sake of it. I'll say Digimon Adventure. I still like I still like the first season Digimon Adventure. So and especially the theme still to this day, even though I didn't watch the show that much, the theme still sticks out for me memorably till this day. Digimon Digital Monster Digimon are the champions. Yeah. And like so some of the CGI it doesn't hold up as well, especially when they're the mega transformation scenes. That doesn't the CGI doesn't hold up that well. The songs oh I gotta forget I, the some of the, uh, the songs I thought. Oh well, there is one called uh, well Digimon oh what well, when they're when they're when they're about to win a battle there was one called Digimon something I forget. Say say save the Digiverse something like that I forget. But there's also the Digi rap. I'm sorry, the Digimon, the Digimon, the Digi-Rap song, I do not like. I rather watch the, I rather listen to the Pokey Rap, which I grew up watching and listen to that more. I rather watch to hear the Pokey Rap than the Digimon Rap, or Digi-Rap. Just uh, so the some of the, so the songs I thought are not as quite as, except for the main theme, the songs I thought were eh. If I have a, if, if I describe a problems with the show, is the CGI doesn't hold up. So the songs, except for the main theme, which I remember the most, doesn't sit. Or not as to me, it's not as memorable as like the songs from the Pokemon show. I mean, even the Sailor Moon show, I remember the songs. I remember was a good. That was a good soundtrack, especially you got she's got the power. Uh, my only love. Um, call my name. I'll I'll be there. Those songs are, and especially the main theme of Sailor Moon. Those are songs are I still there are still memorable than the songs in Digimon. Most of the, 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 the main theme I remember is the most memorable thing I remember about the show is the theme. Digimon, Digital Monster, Digimon are the champions. That's still a good theme. But regardless of those nitpicks or problems, whatever, I still like the show regardless. So that's my thoughts on the first season of Digimon or Digimon Adventure. I still I still like the show. But sadly, I wish I would have grew up watching it more. That would be more well versed and more knowledge of the show. So, but that's the only problem I had. I didn't grow for for my life. I didn't watch the show more of. Oh well, but I still like the show. But that's my review on Digimon. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next review for Anime Month. Later.